you can still play the backing files. I prepare orchestral and band backings for me to play the piano over. And of course, the singers then sing over that. And if we come back to the main unit here, we can also see that there's video control. The video goes out to your monitor. I've got a small monitor like this one here. And I also use a projector or a 22 inch screen monitor I cart around with me. And that will play from PAL NTSC and show me big or small letters on the screen. So there's the big version and there's a the small version. Uh, and you can set that manually as you go along. And the great thing about it is as a musician, I can also see uh, music on the screen. So if I just come back to my files and load in something I know that's got a MIDI, it's a MIDI file, let there be peace on earth and look at it. You can now see there's the words, but there's also the music. And uh, you can see the names of the notes if you want, so I don't need that. You can see any chords around for guitar players, if you've got a particular track to use that. You can change the tracks here to see different tracks. I'm looking at track one, which has got the melody part in, and when I play it, I've actually got the melody button on, because I've selected not to play the tune. I can bring it back on now if you want. And here it is, if I switch it in on the oboe. So that lets me play along with the music, really. It reminds me of what to do. I'm a reader as well, so that I like to see the music on the screen. If I wanted to change the sound, I could go to the mixer and find the uh, SMF file and see what is playing on that melody track. There it is, it's an oboe. If I want to change that sound, all I've got to do is go into it, perhaps select a flute, and now it's changed to the flute. I can edit that in some way, I can just tidy up the reverb, add a bit more reverb to it. Um, I can even uh, do a sound edit on it and change the LFO speed, maybe the attack as well. So pretty dramatic stuff really when you think that can work on any mini track and it will resave it all in the new settings and uh, you can then balance it all up using that particular file for standard mini files, MP3 files, microphones come in that way keyboard, reverb, balance overall, and final output before it goes to the master. Don't forget there's headphone socket on the side here for balancing up and preparing before you play the music. Okay, so I'm just fading it out on the master fader. We press the exit button to get back to the main screen. There are a whole host of main controls then from library to playlist to mixer and then video. There's also the pads that we can use, which give us extra sounds. So if I call up this one, I should get a little extra sound. If it's not working, I know that's because I've not switched it on. So I'm just gonna turn off there because I was using the pads to switch the pages. And if I do it now, you can hear, based on the notes I play on the keyboard, or on a particular MIDI track, same as with the harmonizer, can use a particular track of MIDI, uh, to play the right notes. That's a little sequence I found that's built into the system. And if you want to change it to something else, you just go to this and look it up. There's a synth, it's sequence of one, you see, and you can change that to something else instead. So I've got that one now, let's try that one. Uh, pretty powerful stuff. And you want to have a bit of applause, they're not clapping. There you are. Audiences in this country are so fickle, you don't often get the applause in the right places. Um, and uh, if you want to have something to add to your keyboard playing while you're going along. Uh, a nice little harp there. And if you want some natural sounds, I've just chosen Nature River sound in the background there. So the pads also can be switches, as I said, for changing the lyrics. So if you've got a file with lyrics in, and how do I know? I can see from that little icon of the, the horizontal lines that there is something on both players. There's a MIDI player, it's an MP3 player, but it can be either combination, two MP3s, two MIDI files. They're all there for you to use. So if I look at that now, uh, and want to change it, well it's not, that's not a particularly good one, so I'll just come back to something that I had before. So uh, looking at that one there, let there be peace on earth. Let's bring that over, and now when I play it, I can look at the words, and I can use these buttons to scroll through at the appropriate time. 
Better still, I can put a foot switch on it and do it with my feet while I'm playing, so I haven't got to keep my hands off the keyboard. So, MIDI control, par excellence if you like, certainly for me, this is an eye-opener, I didn't know that I could get something that would do all this. You can shuffle songs in the playlist around here, and you can also repeat them as well, that's uh, one whole playlist gets repeated again. So I find that useful to have. Uh, what I like is the transpose functions. For me, I read music from an iPad. There's the iPad on the screen. You can see that's what I read my real music from instead of carrying all the books around. Although each of my files does refer to a, a book set. Uh, for example, all the way, it says it's 50s, page 9, no transpose on it. Now I'm gradually changing them all so that every single file I play has got the settings built in. So here you can see I can put in the transpose function and if I just come across, let's have a look. Let's find a MIDI file to, to uh, play around with and you'll see what I'm saying. You can see on here it tells me the type of file, although I can select five different parameters of the file to go up here. And if I want to find a MIDI file, there's, there were some there. I, I can just look at it and sort it out. So I've got a, you know, there's a MIDI file. Look at the information about it. Not much at the moment. I need to fill this in. I need to put the artist, the genre, Glenn Miller, big band stuff. Uh, the key, time signature, singer type. Well, that could be uh, female, mixed voices or whatever. If you want to enter something on the screen, all you do is press it twice and a virtual keyboard comes up. Uh, if you're not using that, you can use, like I got from Maplin the other day, that's a, a nice tiny little keyboard which lights up to on those dim lit stages that we do get from time to time as the evening progresses. And you can put that in as well.